Okay, I hope this video works out. Uh, I'm having a little technical difficulty, but I think I'm getting through it. I want to show off the distortion control on Capture One Pro 12. I just got it. I'm a newbie. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but I'm learning a few things, and hopefully I can get you guys uh, interested. Uh, I know that this can be done in Lightroom um, a little bit differently, and I'm trying to get away from Lightroom, so I won't be you using Lightroom in this video. That would be Lightroom 6. I don't have um, CC Creative Cloud. I didn't feel like I want to pay a membership per year, stuff like that. Uh, that's part of the reason why I bought Capture One. Okay, this is 24 millimeter. And the odd thing about this lens, uh, most people are gonna be under the belief that there is no uh, distortion control using this lens but if you shoot in JPEG I want you guys to look right here see this is 24 millimeter <laughs> I want you to look at that now the next image is also 24 millimeter but it's JPEG I shot them at the same time uh, same exact image over here you see my lens cap on top I was just using that as an edge um, you can see how much the in-camera uh, distortion correction does in JPEG. Uh, it fixes the image pretty much. Uh, Canon knows uh, what's going on here and yes it's working but it, when I looked at the camera uh, it was definitely grayed out and I tried this after looking at Mr. Christopher Frost uh, images and my images I said really like, we both shooting raw and I said you know what let me try JPEG and sure enough the camera in body uh, distortion control does work if you shoot in JPEG, okay, 50 millimeter uh, pin cushion, you can see that. Uh, 50 millimeter JPEG straightened out. So let's go to back to 24 and see what we could do with this image. This would suggest to me that this is larger than 24, possibly 20, uh, 21 millimeter, and this is why it looks this funky. And you can see the ends here. I right, uh, believe it's in this guy right here see if that's the right one that is not the right one okay that should be color that shouldn't be it um here it is lens all right right here it says distortion now there's one for pin cushion and there's one that's generic and then you can also look up the lenses here's the canon lenses and they do have a couple of rf lenses i think they have three here but that's all they got um 50 millimeter 1.2, 35 1.8, and 28 to 70 f2. That's got to be a beast of a lens. <laughs> Either way, um, you guys know where to look for your lens if you have similar issue. And this is the one for pin cushioning. Right now we're doing the generic because this is barrel distortion. Okay, so I, I'm gonna since the mount is so small, I'm gonna go number by number. Okay, actually it's a little higher than I thought. That's a little bit better. That is should be 74, 75. That's a little bit on top still. Okay, that's pretty good right there, I'ma say. Uh that was a little high. We'll go with that. And there is another tool here when I look try to look up distortion on it's called Keystone on YouTube. This is what they showed me. They didn't show me this part, so I kind of had to fool around with the sliders and learn for myself what you're seeing right now. I didn't see a video on this particular setup. Um, let's see if we could do vertical a little bit. Oh, that worked out pretty good. <laughs> that worked out kind of good. So there's a quick and dirty on how you would adjust this. Uh, 24 millimeter in Capture One Pro 12. This 12.1.3 I just updated it today, and my <laughs> my computer actually crashed. Uh, I was trying to rebuild this up, it wouldn't do it. I had to go into advanced settings. I had to go to find uh, system restore. I had to go through system restore, and I was able to restore it back to a previous date, which was Friday. So I had to re-import these images in here and. 
I had Capture One open and I'm opening screenshot so I could record the screen for you guys. And for some reason, it keeps getting stuck when I go to test the audio and I can't close it. So, and then Windows was trying to update at the same time. And oh my God. Anyway, I got my system back. <laughs> so I'm a happy camper. So that's that one. Let's go to the pincushion one, 50 millimeter. Now you have to change this to pincushion. And now you can adjust the pincushion on here. Okay, this one's ever so slightly. This one's not even remotely like the other one. It's only a few ones there. And I'm going to say that's about it right there. Uh, I went, so I went two, two numbers <laughs> instead of 80 on the barrel distortions. And you guys kind of saw the vertical. Uh, you didn't see the horizontal. That would be a little bit different uh, if you need that. But uh, it's there. Nevertheless, you guys can take play around with these sliders. And you get ideas what you want to do. Um, there's a nice little leveler here. If you have to go that route, it'll pretty much level the image for you. So that's nice. Um, another guy here, which is kind of the keystone, where you can straighten things out or not. Um, I'm not going to go there because I don't want to mess up the picture. We're doing okay so far for a newbie. <laughs> um, and you can, yeah, that's pretty straight. That's straightened out the picture for me. Uh, you can also use that to straighten out vertical lines. You see my cap there. And we can reset uh, the whole image. Image. Um, don't want to edit it also, but th there's a way to reset it here. I apologize, I'm not. I might be with this guy right here. Reset adjustments on primary variant. Okay, that looks like that. Yeah, that's that's come back completely back to where it was. Let's do the same for uh, this one here. This one still has a little bit of bow. <laughs> we might uh, go up on that. And then we might do the vertical a little bit. And now it looks like it has a little pin cushion on this side and the bottom. Um, I'm going to leave it like that for now, but let's reverse it back to what it was to see how far we went. We had to come from. You can see that we can do it ourselves. We don't really need uh, to shoot in JPEG. Not that we're going to want to, but Lightroom is similarly easy. I remember the adjustments being down here in Lightroom. Uh, and also, my Lightroom is Lightroom 6. is an older version. So I'm sure the new ones is going to be slightly more advanced, slightly easier than or better, have better tools than my version, the one I have, which I'm trying to get away from. Okay, let's uh, find a couple of more. Is that a JPEG 50 millimeter? It is. Okay, this is 100 millimeter. That's the JPEG 100. Okay. Um, Looks like every every photo we do, if we're doing pin cushion, we have to change it. Because probably pin cushion isn't the one that you do the most. You probably do uh, barrel distortion more. Uh, and again, we used a very small amount last time, so that looks pretty good to me. Let's straighten it out. Okay, now we're going to go back and forth with the uh, JPEG. That's the JPEG 100 millimeter, and that's ours. That is pretty satisfactory. Um, quick and dirty editing uh, in Capture One Pro 2. Capture One Pro 12, excuse me, 12.1.3. <laughs> 1. So that works pretty good. Um, this is 150. I want to go to 240. Uh, that's 150 again, excuse me. This is 240. Let's try this one. Should be the last one, so I don't take up too much of your time, okay? Again, we got to go. Pain cushion. Uh, I just learned this today. <laughs> um, do the slider first. And I'm using my up and down arrow keys because it's. That's about, I'm happy there. I'm very happy with that. I don't think I got to do much more. Let's go to the JPEG. 
Okay, this will be JPEG here, excuse me. And this would be our straightening out, and then the JPEG image. The JPEG looks like it went a little step more, so we might do one more just argument's sake. And that's going to be it. Alright, so that's the. Let's get out of there. So, JPEG, I'll fix. JPEG, I'll fix. I don't know if I can ask for more than that. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with that. Uh, there's a lot of great tools here, a lot for me to learn. And I hope you guys are not afraid of your new RF24 to 240 lens because the correction is easy. It's not that hard at all. I'll see you guys in the next one, right? Bye.